What's up guys, Shadowmaster EX here, back again, bringing you some more of our Pokemon Sun Wonderlock, and in the last episode, we fought Dexio, I think? I think that was his name, honestly, he does not stand out at all. And he reminded us how much we need items in a Nuzlocke. So, thankfully, there wasn't a Pokemon Center too far- oh my god, I have a lot of cash. Did I just never buy anything ever? Is that what I did? Cause holy fucking Christ. Let's correct this. I need to fix myself as a person, honestly, if I fucking- oh, that's plenty, actually. We'll get a repeller- oh no, I have- I have decent stuff, I just didn't have the main stuff. So let's see what this dude over here is packing. Ooh, TMs, can I buy anything helpful? The answer was no. On that day, I received a stark nothing for nothing. That's what I get for thinking I could get something out of nothing. So let's see, if I check this sign, this will take us to Route 4, which on Route 4 we can get an encounter. Route 4, Route 4, Route 4. What are we going to find on Route 4? Oh, it's a Lillipop. Gumi is like the perfect Pokemon to fight a Lillipop. Oh, just kidding, we're even, we're even level, so that means I'm going to do absolutely no damage when I hit this thing. Well, that wasn't actually too terrible. I, I don't know, me- oh. Yeah, that's definitely more than I hit him for. So that's a thing. It's a good thing he's going for helping hand every other turn or else I might be in trouble. Let's go ahead, throw this great ball. That health is pretty low. Oh man, I'm so excited. I really want to wonder trade again. It's been so long since we've sent anything off. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I need some new team members. Not like, you know, to replace necessarily. Just, you know, I, I want some backup. I don't feel very safe right now. Plus, a water type would be really lovely. So it says, because it doesn't yelp, it's extremely popular with trainers who live in apartment buildings. Oh, that's so cute. Fun fact, me and my girlfriend really want a dog, but we can't have one because we live in an apartment building, unfortunately. So we're just going to go ahead and name this thing Shadow X. So, send a box. And next, we're going to Wonder Trade. Hopefully I can get on and Wonder Trade, okay. We just had this really big storm last night, so a lot of stuff's been kind of wonky. I know there are a lot of people that I know who don't have their power back yet, and we're quite fortunate in the sense that we still have ours, but we were having a lot of Wi-Fi problems last night. So hopefully we can connect to the internet. Global mission's happening, that's cool. I think I'm participating in that, I'm not sure. So we have Lillipup and that Dratini, okay, so Dratini's literally our only backup here. Let's go ahead and send away this Lillipop. So, deposit Lillipop. Let's see what we can get here. I'd be fine with the grass type. I'd be fine with the water type. Flying type would be fine. I mean, Charizard is a flying type, so I technically don't really need it. But, like, in the here and now, I'll take it. Ooh, so we got Ozzy Mendias from Spain. That's a name right there. So hopefully Ozymandias will hook us up with something good. So we're gonna get... 
Yes! Fuck yeah! I wanted a water type. I got a water type. I fucking love Greninja. I get a Froki. Oh man, the only thing that would have made this any better is if this was like a Battle Bomb Greninja. I would have fucking kept that. This were a level 30 Battle Bomb Greninja, I would have fucking kept it. That is what I'm talking about. It makes me sad that we wonder traded at the beginning of the episode though. Because that means that like now there's no chance I can fucking use that thing. Well actually that's not necessarily true. Like it might it might be a breed reject, I don't know. It might, you know, could just be a trophy, could be a starter. I, well, it's probably not a starter now I think about it. kind of the wrong game for that. So let's see what this thing is. Okay, so it's a breed reject. Doesn't have protein. Doesn't have anything helpful at all. But you know what? That's fine. I'll actually switch that out for Quilava, because I don't need two fire types. I really don't. And we can switch train this thing for a little bit. Let's try switch training Froakie. And with any luck, we're not going to get Pursuit Trapped. Now I know I said that literally for the last like five episodes, but this time we're not doing it. I refuse. I fucking refuse. So they can try it all they want. I know Lillipup doesn't get Pursuit Trapped. So I'm not, I better not see any bullshit Lillipup. So this thing had bites, so I, oh wow. This thing has bites, so I pretty much can't send in half my team. I can't send in half my team against this thing. Oh man, the downside of having a Psychic and a Ghost type is just the fact that they have a lot of common weaknesses. Like, they're both weak to Ghost, they're both weak to Dark. And then, like, when you get into secondary typings, it really adds up. It really does. Holy shit, am I hyped for that Froakie, though. Like, even a Greninja that's not Protean is still a good Greninja. Like, Greninja's such a good Pokémon. Like, you can use a Torrent Greninja and get away with it. Like, it's not... Wait a minute. I just used Metal Claw. I don't have any fucking hands. How does that work? I'm actually really concerned. There we go. At least we have a water move now. It's not the best one, but it's still better than nothing. I really do love the concept of a Wonderlock because, like, it makes training up, like, those level ones you get so much easier. Because, like, look at that. Like, we went up, like, what? Nine levels? And they're fine. As long as he doesn't have a water type, it should be okay. You don't have to ring the bell. If our eyes meet, I'll come. That's scary. This man's over here just like, hey man, if I see you, I will fucking beat you up. His name is Jody. Why is your name Jody? I'm concerned about you, sir. I am very concerned about your life. Well, technically not your life choices, but your parents. Your parents need some, you know... Parents need some stuff. You know, I'm gonna risk it. I wanna risk it. I want the type advantage, and I don't believe he's gonna have a ghost type move. Minimize. God damn it. We're doing this today. Please don't do this to me. I don't wanna deal with this crap. Oh god, you had a ghost type move. Ah, oh, that's cool, I can tank it. Mm. Alright, does anybody have a move that never misses? Oh my god. I don't think anyone does. So I might just... My, this might be my best option here, is trying to tank these Astonishes until I land the hit. Alright, so Charmeleon, I feel safe with him in there. 
God. Fuck. It's just one focus energy, too. Like, why is it that once people get, like, one focus energy up, they can skillfully dodge everything? It's like, look at me. I know how to dodge every attack in the entire fucking game. That's fair. That's so fair. That's so fucking fair. Fucking... Your luck ran out, man. Ooh. Getting some good levels here. This is kinda nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. Alright. So let's keep making our way down this route. That's a dead end. Ooh, a Zygarde cell. There we go. And then we got a call, so it's a Cena wants to talk to you. I just received a signal from your Zygarde cube. The creature that just got sucked into the cube is what we call a Zygarde cell. The Zygarde cube I gave you is like a nest for cells and cores. Your mission is to collect all the cells and cores. We'll get in touch. Bonne chance. I don't speak French. Yeah, I'm not fighting you. No, maybe I'm fighting you, yeah. I should be fighting these trainers. I really should. It's how you stay up on your levels, and it's how you don't get wrecked later on. I don't know what the next trials level- Oh, God. I don't want to fight this fat dick. I'm not 100% sure how much damage I can even do to you. So the answer was none. Alright, so we're gonna have to go the cheap route here. Because this thing has, like, legitimate defenses. And I don't want to sit here for five minutes for, like, a one-on-six battle. Because that's just not smart. Yeah, you can defense curl all you want, man. This is set damage. Set damage is gonna rape you in the face. Damn it. I was hoping you'd have less than 40 HP, but I know that was very wishful thinking. I'm actually really hoping that, um... The trial we end up doing soon is Malo's trial. Like, I miss her trial, like... That's one of the things I'm kind of hoping for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, is that the trials will be a little revamped. If not, yeah, I don't know. There have been rumors that they're going to go to the gym format, which I think would be really sad considering, you know, we just established that. Like, we literally had it for all of one game, and then we're just like, nope, never mind. This was not what we really wanted to do. We just wanted to be new for, like, one year. But... I think the biggest issue with the trials was just that it was, like, really tedious. Like, there were some that were just, like... There were some that were kind of legitimate. Like, I think Alima's trial was fine. Because it was pretty much structured like a gym. Just, you know, less puzzles, more thinking and finding stuff. And fighting when you find it. Oh, please don't hurt me. Okay, I'm cool with this. Um... But yeah, like, Mallow's trial was a little... I was half and half on that one, like... We were gathering ingredients, we were getting attacked by Pokemon while we did it, like, specific ones. So I was like, okay, that's kinda meh. Kiani or Kiawi's trial was fucking stupid. Lana's trial was better. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Um, what's his name, or what's her name? I'm trying to think, there's one that was just really bad. I think it actually is Kiawi's trial, this is so bad. It's literally like, where's Waldo, like, easy mode. It's easy mode, where's Waldo, for people with, like, no standards. Holy crap, it's Chef Boyardee. Oh, wow, he caught me. I didn't think he was looking at me. I'm surprised. This man is woke. 
We got Cook Ernie over here trying to serve up some surprises. So Cutie Fly, I feel like this is a fight we can actually like complete. Like, Froki does definitely not have the best moves right now. It's a struggle book that lowers some special attack, doesn't it? Damn it. I'm gonna lose a little of my special attack, but that actually hurts a little bit. So once again, we're gonna make a switch. We're gonna make a tactical switch into our Lizard, and we're gonna attack this thing up the face. We're gonna bomb rush it in the face, we're gonna punch it with a fiery claw. I could go for a flare blitz, because that's exactly what I'm describing, but I don't know if I want to take the recoil I want. I want to take the recoil I want. Fuck it. How often do I use Flare Blitz? Not very, because it's a lot. But still, it's a good move. It's a good move if you want just everything gone now. Plus it's a resisted hit, and you know, you're definitely not- Ooh! Yes! Froki's learning Water Pulse, that's what I like to see. Now I can actually do some damage. I think I can really hurt somebody with this. I lost. Let me have another battle. No, thank you, sir. Is there a rematch mechanic in this game? I don't think there is. No. Oh, fuck. Hey, Shadow X. Glad I ran into you. So we can see who's stronger now. My Gramps must have thought I did good enough in my grand trial because he gave me a Z ring too. Did you just not win? What does good enough mean? Having a battle in a place like Pinolia Town feels like we're in a real old fashioned western showdown or something, right? This is so cool. Though if we're real honorable cowboys, we gotta make sure our teams are healthy first. Did you just heal me? Okay, you healed me. Alright, I'm gonna fucking end you. Well, white Pikachu and team, let's show this newbie. Newbie. The Malasada Munchin. Slack jawed. Pikachu using piece of crap. He's calling me a newbie. Oh, I'm gonna fuck your Pikachu up. You done disrespected me, and for that you must die. But I'm not staying in. I'm gonna predict you to be obvious. Yep, there's the obvious predict. There's the obvious predict. And now you're gonna hold this magnitude. Alright, you're gonna quick attack me. And now you're gonna hold this magnitude. Well, your speed's gonna fall now. But. Now you're gonna hold this magnitude. You're gonna hold the magnitude eight. I don't think you can even hold the magnitude two. I love that face. I love the face of a Pikachu dying in the morning. So we have Dartrix, that's a grass type. Oh yeah, I forgot you have Dartrix. It's grass flying. So let's go Charmeleon. It'll be a starter versus starter showdown. Gen 1 versus Gen 3! Wait! <laughs> Gen 1 versus Gen 7, what the fuck am I talking about? Sorry guys, I am very tired. I was on a film set today. And I had class. And it's it's not super late, but it's late. I don't know what to do in a couple of, like, seven hours. So hopefully... Actually, it's probably more than 7, because I didn't eat since, like, 11. It's, like, almost 9 now. Anyway, breaking the fourth wall. I apologize for my foolishness. Nice! How did you come up with that kind of battle plan? You gotta tell me. Ah, it's called picking good Pokemon. Even though they were randomly given to us, am I right? Still better than how, am I right? Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon all looked like they had a blast, too. Right, then. Here, I'll share my bit of good luck with you, Shadow X. 
dire hit. I don't need that shit. Fuck you, how? You know how the Tilden Pokemon are all, like, surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You know, Pokemon battles are just, like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Well, not if you're me. But when you're... When you're only really a loser, if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? It's pretty fun beating your ass, yeah. Anyway, I'm heading off to Pinolia Ranch. Alright. Well, that looked like a decent spot to stop for now. We're hitting that 20 minute mark, and I think that's the perfect amount of time to pass in an episode. So, if you guys enjoyed, thank you so much for, you know, watching. Let me know that you enjoyed it by leaving a like down below, or commenting and telling me how I did, and what I can do better in the future. Tell me what you think of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and tell me what you think of our playthrough in general. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.